Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a little bit less formal, is a little bit less medical. In fact, I just wanted to summarize uh, five things that um, are quite uh, commonly asked by uh, parents when they first see their new births, but that they are absolutely normal. I am Ilenia, I've been a midwife for the past six years working everywhere in Europe and my passion is to help women and families becoming empowered about their pregnancy, their birth and their postpartum experience. Are you curious about those five things? Let's get started! The first thing I usually get asked when I show the newborn to their parents for the first time is about the shape of the head. In fact, babies born vaginally or babies uh, born via cesarean section, when the mothers have done labor, they're highly likely to have a cone-shaped head. While if they are born via an elective cesarean section, then the head is likely to have a normal round shape. Why? Um, these bones of the newborn skulls are like flat and nice and soft and they're linked by the sutures. The characteristic of being so soft and movable makes uh, the shifting and sliding of these bones one on top of the other or one across the other. This allows um, the baby to go through the birth canal. In fact, imagine um, the size of a newborn head, uh, it will never be able to fit the maternal pelvis if this phenomenon will not happen. So it's absolutely normal to um, find a baby with a cone-shaped head. Usually the cone is found in the presenting part of the head, so if the baby was uh, coming down presenting the vertex then the, the, the shape will be like coned like here or it can be a little bit here or in the front. Uh, it really depends what is the first part that was presented into the maternal inlet of the pelvis. Um, it will, it, there is nothing that needs to be done, it will go down in a few days really, but in the first few hours you will see a massive and uh, consistent change already in the shape and you'll see the, the head really coming back to a normal round shape. But another type of phenomenon that can happen on the newborn's head is the kephalomatoma. The difference between the caput and the kephalomatoma is that the caput is uh, there straight away at birth, while the kephalomatoma usually develops a few days after birth. And it is really um, just a collection of blood between the, the, the skin and the bones of the skull, uh, because maybe like a little vein, a little vessel has broken during the birth. Again, it might cause like a little bruise-like, and the baby said, but also that is absolutely uh, normal. It just needs to be kept an eye on, but um, most of the cases there is nothing uh, that needs to be done. It will just um, come back to normal size in a few days, weeks max. Another thing that I get uh, quite often asked is why the genitalia are so swollen. In fact, either if you're having a baby boy or a baby girl, um, their genitalia are likely to be um, swollen from the hormones that baby was receiving during the um, uter uterine life. So the baby will take a few days to actually metabolize and get rid of the hormones through um, stools or urine. And it is common to see in a little bit of swollen in the baby boy testicles or in the labia of the female baby, uh, baby newborns. Um, again, nothing to be done, it will just get down in a few days. It is also possible to see a little bit of blood spotting um, in uh, uh, girls especially. Um, again, some, women, some, some people call it like the first period, but it's just again, just another way to get rid of those um, hormones that the baby was receiving from you in the uterus. So nothing to be uh, worried about while something that you can see in the nappy that might look like uh, blood but usually is more like um, or a dark orange or brown uh, is urates. Urates are mm, a form of urine that is very highly concentrated. Um, this can indicate that baby needs extra hydration in terms of more um, milk so you might need to um, express and express or pump more uh, breast milk if you're breastfeeding or introduce a bit more formula if you're bottle feeding just to keep um, that urine flushed out you'll see that after you introduce extra fluids then the urine will be back to be a normal color 
Third, a very normal thing that can happen in a newborn, but that you might not expect, are the sneezes. Yes, newborns, they sneeze quite a lot. Either if they're born vaginally or especially by a cesarean section, because with the sneeze, they're just trying to get rid of those mucus or um, um, that amniotic fluid that was left in their respiratory system. Um, it doesn't mean that the baby's cold, if you are unsure about the baby's temperature, then um, either check in the back of her neck. Usually that's a point that indicates that the baby is warm. Never feel the hands on the feet because um, the newborns in the first days of life, they prioritize the circulation to the organs that are more important for him or her, which are the brain, the um, heart and the stomach. And they leave the extremities, meaning the limbs and the hands and the feet, um, a bit of a uh, bluish and colder just because they prioritize the other organs first so always check in the back of the neck if you're not sure by the back of the neck and um, check the temperature with a thermometer but usually a baby uh, sneezing does not indicate that the baby is cold a fourth um, thing that can be uh, a bit worryingly but it is absolutely normal is the jerking it is common to see newborns doing, doing this type of movements especially when you pick them up or you put them back in the cot or in the crib. Um, doesn't mean again that they're cold. We don't really know why they do it. And um, I would say it's mainly because they're not used to the gravity we have in this planet. They were in the room, they were surrounded by the amniotic uh, fluid for nine months. So they were not used, they were not taught how to um, regulate their uh, body according to the gravity. Usually um, it resolves uh, quite quickly by swaddling them a little bit tight with a blanket uh, and then you'll see they will usually stop. It is important to differentiate the jerking from the jittery. The jittery is another type of trembling that usually happens when the baby is not disturbed while the jerking usually happens when baby moves or you pick him or her up. The jittery can be related to um, either hypoglycemia or uh, some particular condition that might require a bit more attention. But don't worry, the midwife um, on the first days of life will uh, explain you how to recognize the differences and she or, or he will see um, if um, those are simple jerkings or uh, it is actually classified as jitterness. Last um, thing or really a bunch of things that it is absolutely uh, normal to see on a newborn is the vernix caseosa. The uh, vernix caseosa is simply called usually vernix and is a, a layer of cream like um, it is uh, really like waxy or uh, cheese like uh, that can be found on the uh, newborn uh, skin sometimes in part of the bodies or um, in all the body it is usually more found in the babies that are born pre their due date or their premature while babies that are born after the due date after 41 or 42 weeks they normally don't have vernix on their skin but actually the opposite, their skin gets uh, quite dry and sometimes cracked just because uh, they're getting old inside the womb and so they are gonna finish the reserve of vernix. The vernix in the uterus prevents um, babies from uh, getting wrinkly, consider they've been in the water for nine months, so it's a protection for them and also allows uh, cells development, skin development, it's so important for them in the intrauterine life. Um, sometimes you can see babies having such a thick vernix that can prevent their eyes to open. Um, it does not need to be washed off. It is actually extremely hard to uh, get rid of the vernix. Um, you just have to let it get absorbed. Um, if you put the baby skin to skin, you'll see in a few hours that vernix will be absolutely um, gone. It is... Um, it might be left a little bit in the fold of the skin, uh, but again, it will go away um, in the first few hours, maximum a day of life. It is so important for them that they get it absorbed by themselves. Um, it will just let um, the skin be adapted better to the extra uterine environment. 
similar to the vernix and um, some babies also do have um, hair especially on the shoulder or on the back and on the arms like the vernix it kind of um, protects them is like a little fort that they have that protects them from the water inside uh, it will uh, fall um, after a few, uh, few days and um, just by the time the skin gets adapted to the new environment again last uh, nails yes newborns do have a uh, long nails quite longer more than you might expect um, those nails though they're not um, as ours strong and firm in fact they are simply like an extension of the skin uh, so they're quite fragile and quite soft um, i would not recommend uh, to get them cut because they might bleed just because they're really just an extension of the skin um yes they might uh, scratch a lot their faces so you might get worried because um they're gonna get uh, scratch their cheeks or their face what you can do is really just to put them in your mouth and gently gently bite them just so they get a little bit softer and smooth the corners especially or you can put mittens on top of it um, I don't particularly love the mittens, I don't recommend them, especially for breastfeeding because babies do love um, put the hands in their mouth, it's, it's, it's a way that they use to learn about the world um, surrounding them, also the hands in the first hours of life they smell like the milky fluid, they smell like you mama, so they really... Um, is a way that they have to suit themselves so i don't uh, suggest to put mittens on but if the, the nails are very long and they really scratch the baby's face then you can uh, get them a little bit smoother in the corners that's all for this video really um i hope it was helpful let me know if you knew these things and, and let me know if you um want to add something that i might have missed those are usually the five things that i get asked so much that i never really paid attention about because they were normal for me but with for people that are not used to see newborns or to work with newborns they can be quite boringly uh, but um i want to do this video so that you get reassured when you first see your baby and although you'll be absolutely loved by the beauty of your baby yes you might notice these uh, few normal things that they're just gonna resolve or disappear uh, within the course of the time and um, again if you need extra help for your postpartum period i'm also um, qualified to look after um women in and babies in the first weeks of life so don't hesitate to reach out to me see you next video